and uh, this is how it looks before surgery and after surgery. And uh, immediately after surgery, patient started uh, full weight bearing walking, and uh, he's quite happy now. So coming to the second stage, this is a reverse of the previous case where uh, patient 20 year female presented to me with a uh, severe equinox deformity. So uh, she had sustained a burn injury in a, ch in a childhood where uh, she, uh, she was operated with, uh, she had a knee contracture also. The plastic surgeon has uh, released the knee contracture but uh, he was not there enough to correct the ankle equinox. So patient started walking for uh, 15 years on the ankle, so there was an osteomyelitis of the talus with the long healing ulcer of the anti aspect of the ankle. So this is how she was walking. This is similar to Barisa's case. Um, so the wound was pretty bad. There was osteomyelitis of the talus. And uh, so here I had to resort to the dual approach where uh, anteriorly I exercised the uh, uh, ulcer and uh, remove the talus. Posteriorly, I did the tender Achilles lengthening and uh, um, incision of the capsule and and also the FHL lengthening. So after that, the frame application was little difficult and it was really cumbersome to apply um, motor rod and hinges. But uh, initially, I resort to the unconstrained frame. So always unconstrained frame is a very easy one to apply. So I resorted to the basics and uh, applied the unconstrained frame and gradually started distracting. And uh, see the ulcer within one month, the anterior ulcer which was there for so many <coughs> years disappeared and uh, the ulcer healed nicely. This is in the correction. And, uh, so though you, you can see a bulky anterior aspect, but if you see the X-ray, the calcaneum was almost uh, sitting beneath the lower end of the tibia. I had to reset the lower end of the tibia a little bit because uh, it was so stiff, was not able to uh, correct it properly. So this is at the, after the brain removal, I gave, gave her the brace and the patient is comfortably walking on the brace. And this is the uh, patient, I could attain, uh, attain a plenty of painless foot. The uh, video is not working. Though the limb is a little short, she is quite happy. And maybe she needs a further lengthening. So advantage of laser it is less invasive. We can mobilize early. But in such cases, we, we cannot mobilize with the ring. But with, with the extra ring attached, we can mobilize them. So no flaps surgery was required. We can preserve the foot length and uh, we, uh, the, the main part was there was no skin breakage, no complications. So complex foot burn, uh, that is post burn contraction in the foot and angle, these are all the treatment of choice. Thank you.